What's going on everybody? Tom Castro with the Tom Castro Shooting Academy. I just want to report in on day number three with the Masterpiece Arms DS9 Hybrid. This thing's ridiculous. Um, I didn't realize how much I really enjoyed this gun until I got a couple of days into shooting it. Uh, today was a great practice. I had a lot of fun today. <laughs> um, I shot a lot of videos for my online course that I do and I had a chance to really run this thing through its course. Um, I had the day one was a little rough. I had the thumb rest still on it. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you guys check it out. I'll link it in the bottom there. Uh, there was day two. I shot a local match, which actually went really, really well. Um, other than kind of losing my brain a little bit on two little small things. Uh, the gun shot amazing. I only shot 18 Charlies for the whole match. I had one no shoot because I let go of the gun and then uh, I forgot a target because I didn't stage plan it um, after I changed my plan. So it's kind of dumb stuff like that, but that doesn't have anything to do with the gun, baby. That's on me as a shooter. So I, I really, really like this gun. I'm starting to understand the recoil impulse. Uh, I tuned it uh, for my own liking. Uh, I didn't like the seven pound spring that it came with. I ended up going up to a nine pound uh, recoil spring, took the thumb rest off. That fixed a lot of the dipping that I was having. Uh, between taking the thumb rest off and changing that recoil spring, I, I got it to match my ammo more. And I, I really enjoyed this gun. I, I'm, <laughs> I had a, a couple of runs today where I don't even remember pulling the trigger. It was, it was, it's pretty crazy how nice the trigger is on this gun. I just finished doing some unloaded starts, one-handed, strong hand, weak hand. One thing I always do when I change guns is I go back to the fundamentals of the gun handling because it really does make a difference. So right now for the Masterpiece Arms, this thing is, it's just so easy to manipulate everything. Between the trigger prep, the, the reloads, the unloaded starts, everything that has to do with it is just, it's just simple. It's very easy for me. I'm really enjoying the changeover from the from the Canic to the 2011. Uh, I'm really glad that I partnered up with Masterpiece Arms for this. The, this this gun's ridiculous. Like, I'm really liking this 2011 platform. So it, it's definitely better than open in my opinion because I don't have the giant loud noise. The uh, I do like major scoring factor. Don't get me wrong, but it is pretty nice that I haven't had to worry about. Uh, oiling the gun yet like I'm actually trying to run it down to where it won't work so I know what the limit is uh, I've probably have close to 1500 rounds out of the gun already in the last two or three days so I've oiled it one time it was when I first got it I oiled it cleaned it and, and shot it and it's I haven't cleaned it since I didn't even put oil on it today so it's it's absolutely running great I will definitely oil the gun the next time I come out, I didn't have any single issues, not a single jam, nothing went wrong. Everything's running great. Uh, this compared with the MBX mags or com combined with the MBX mags, I mean, the gun's just running perfectly right now. I still have some stuff as a shooter that I need to get a little more comfortable with. Um, I'm not liking the, the switch over to the left hand, but that's just kind of me not being used to the gun as much. But as I got through some of the drills that I was doing with it, I really started to figure it out. So again, I cannot recommend this gun enough. I just started with this gun and already love it. So the fact that I'm gonna get another two more weeks of practice out of this gun before I actually have to go to perform at a major match, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So it's, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a good journey so far. I just gotta focus on what I do and uh, I don't have to worry about my equipment for this match. So it's nice. It's, uh, I kind of feel like I'm shooting the Canic again. I don't, I'm not even thinking about the gun. I'm just focusing on the process of shooting. Not, I don't always do that when I switch guns. A lot of times I have to think about, huh, is this gun gonna work? Uh, especially when it's a new gun to me and somebody I've never shot with before. So really liking this gun. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend checking out Masterpiece Arms. Um, it's pretty sweet. All right, guys, if you have any questions, hit me up in those comments and I'll see you on the range.